Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing some crafting and I'm so excited. I am, it's very sad, isn't it? Right, my bathroom downstairs, or my downstairs toilet is of a nautical theme. I'm just gonna take you in there. Oops, hang on. Uh, put a light on, okay, let me show you it, all right. So this is my downstairs bathroom. Okay, so I've got lots of nautical things going on here, okay. There we go, right. So I have a bin, which is nautical, and I have a loo cleaner, which is nautical. What I don't have is a toilet roll holder, which is nautical, and I haven't been able to find one. So I figured, you know what? Why don't you make one? And I'm getting into sort of, you know, recycling things and not throwing things out. So I'm going to make one out of, let me show you, a slimline wine bottle. I know. Now, obviously, the bottle is empty. This one isn't, this is full. This is going back in my fridge. But this bottle here is empty. And all I've done is I've washed it out and I've actually took the labels off, give it a good clean. And then I used some paint, which I had in my garage, um, for the walls. Okay, so it's just normal house paint. <laughs> using what's left so nothing expensive or anything like that um, and all I've done is put two coats on this and just left it to dry and then I have a few little things that I need to help me today I'll show you so I've got the crunch in the background that's Lola eating so I've got some stencils here I did originally um, print them off the internet I'll show you here and chop them out I was going to use those but then I found this in a pack of 25 and I thought perfect so it doesn't matter though you haven't got stencils just uh, cut it off from the internet and use that so I'll put this one side um i've got some acrylic paint here All right there we go so i've got two blues it is from a pack which i got from amazon where i've got loads um i'll show you a look over here it's absolutely shed loads in this okay and then you need a little sponge now you don't again have to have a pack of sponges or you know paintbrushes you can just use I'll show you here a sponge that you use washing up just cut it up so again you can do it as cheap these are acrylic paints but again you could use just a different color of house paints you go to your diy shop and buy sample pots or something It'd be much cheaper let's move my feet out of the way okay so you don't need to worry i've got i have got these little dabbers but again like i said you don't really need to spend a lot of money now, because I want this to look rustic, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of paint onto um, a damp sponge, like this. Um, not much, just a little bit. And then I'm just rubbing it onto that finish, just to give it a little bit of a nautical sort of look. It doesn't have to be even, okay? Because this has been weathered in the sea, by the way, just in case you hadn't realised that. Okay, give it all the way around. Look at that. And then just leave that to dry, okay? It's looking good. Right, when that's dry, you can start doing your stencils. So I'm gonna do a shell first here. Just hold it around your bottle as tight as you can. And then I'm just gonna dab the paint on. and take it off very carefully. What do you think? Let's try and anchor. So again, hold it very tight. Just make sure you don't smudge the other one. What you may need to do is do a few and leave them to dry, just so that you don't damage anything you have already done. And don't forget this is rustic as well, so it doesn't have to be a thousand times perfect, all right? Um, what should I do next? Should I do, let's try a little fish. 
at an angle. All right, so let's be a challenge. This is where you could do more than one hand. Let's do the bottom bit of the fish first. We'll try this bit of the fish. going to leave that to dry for a little bit before I put any more on um, just because I don't want to smudge what I have done so far okay looking good so I'll show you when I finished it all right I've done that now and <laughs> yes it's still eating so you'll see I've got a sea line that is a sea line not a very good one I just need to get a paintbrush to finish that off um, and some anchors, I've got some starfish there and some um, shells. I did end up using my paper one as well, which is where the um, sea line comes from. And I just need to get a little brush and just give him a bit more of a nose and finish off his body, um, which I will do. And then I've just dabbed some blue paint on the top as well, just to make it look more uniformed. And I need to leave that to dry before I move on to the next stage. Right, so while that's drying, I need to make something to hold the um, toilet roll onto the bottle. And I was looking for a stopper and I couldn't find anything. Uh, but what I have got is some of these little stirrers from a well-known coffee shop. I'm not saying which, 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 not saying which. And then I've also got a little bolt. So what I need to do is glue these together to make a little sort of round um cylinder shape and then i'm going to cover it with some string so uh, i'll show you when i've done that i've got my hot gun and i'm just put some glue onto these so they stay together Just make sure when you're looking at using your sticks um, that you just use enough to fit into the top of your bottle. You don't want it too big that your bottle stopper doesn't fit into the bottom because that's going to beat the object. I'm just going to stick these together. Right, so I have now have my stopper, okay? And just double check it fits in. So it fits in tight, because um, you don't want it to fall out when it's in. So let me show you mine so far. So mine does fit in, okay? You need to make sure your top is level as well, it's flat, okay? Because what I'm gonna now do is hot glue the boat on top of that, okay? So I should be able to get probably two toilet rolls, definitely one on top of there. So let me go and do that. Okay, so there's my boat stuck to my topper. Now I'm going to um, varnish the bottle just so it's got a bit more sort of longevity in it. Um, and I've just got a spray varnish which I got from Amazon. I can show you it here. Um, it's just like a lacquer. Um, and obviously it's in, it's in the downstairs toilet, it's not going to get wet or anything, but I just think it'll add um, a nice finish to it. So I'm just going to give that a quick spray. Okay, so you can see it's a little bit more shiny now. So I just need to leave that to dry. You'll see that I um, did my seahorse with a little uh, paintbrush as well, just to make it look more seahorsey. So yeah, it's sort of getting there. Now, what I also did the other day for this while that's drying is I knitted myself out of um, just string a little, that looks like a scarf. I think it was 12 um, stitches across and then just carried on knitting just on a purl up until the height of the bottle and then I'm just giving myself a little bit of um, string either end and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that when this all dries. Right so now it's time to attach my fishing line. So pick um, a side that you think actually you look better on. 
I think I'm going to go there, okay, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the top here, the string around, and then chop off the excess, and then secure it at the bottom. So I'm going to use my hot glue, so I'll come back and show you when I've done it. And here is the final version. There we go. That is my nautical toilet roll holder to go in my bathroom. I'm pretty pleased with that. And it's all from recycled items, except for the boat, obviously, because I bought that. So I hope you like that. Um, I'm going to do lots more crafty things over the next few weeks, um, trying to recycle items. Um, so if you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click notifications and ignore my dog, who obviously has seen somebody going past the window. So guys, give me a thumbs up if you like that, and see you soon. Bye.